Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Croft Studios here, and I'm here with a LEGO City set review, and I'm here with set 60091, the Deep Sea Starter Set. It is 90 pieces, retails for $9.99 here in the USA, and it contains three minifigures, so let's take a look at our box. Here's the box included with the set right here. You can see on the front, just basically shows you your set. Then when you turn it on the back right here, you can see all the features and all kinds of stuff in the set. You get one instruction booklet with this set, and at the end we get one small advertisement, which is this LEGO City ad showing a bunch of the underwater sets you can get. Then on the back we have a crazy looking firefighter. Here are the extra pieces included in this set. Our first figure in the set is basically a scuba diver right here, and there's not really much to say about him. He has some nice printing right there on the front. Um, the other scuba diver is exactly the same, except she has a different face than he does right here. You can see his torso is really cool looking right there with that printing. He also does get some nice leg printing. He gets a little walkie-talkie right there with a printed tile on there. And uh, when you take off his helmet, you can see his face right there. It's just kind of a little smiley face right there, not really much to it. And then when you turn him around, he does get some back printing on the back, which I'll show you in a second. So let's take a look at that. Here is the scuba diver's back printing. Our second figure is the other scuba diver I was talking about, which is basically the female one right here. You can see what she looks like. The only difference is that she has a different face. You can see what that looks like right there. Just a little smiley face, and she also does get a camera accessory instead. So she's basically exactly the same, except basically different face and a different accessory. Here's our third figure in the set right here, which is basically another scuba diver, except this guy is a different outfit. He has an orange outfit on instead of a red and black one. You can see what he looks like. He has that gray uh, kind of helmet covering right there with a blue glasses case right there, or whatever you want to call it on there, a blue casing over the helmet. You can see his face right there is kind of a smiley face. He also comes with a crowbar. When you take off his helmet right there, you can see his printing a bit better, which is actually really nicely done printing. You can see what that looks like. The torso and legs look really well done. Let me turn him onto the back. He does get some very nice back printing as well. So in this set, you get a very cool shark mold right here. You can see what that looks like right here. Obviously, we've gotten this before in the past, but it's definitely great to get it in the set. You can see what it looks like. It's got those really deceiving eyes and stuff like that. Um, you can see the teeth right there. Obviously, the mouth opens up. It's got those molded gills on the side and the fins and stuff. So great mold to get in the set in such a small set. Um, of all things, so it's great to get that. Then we also do get a small model right here with some seaweed, some small plants growing around underwater. I don't like how the bottom part is gray. I wish they would have made that like a tannish color, but that's not really a big deal. And then you also do get a small crate right here, like an underwater crate. And then the inside you get some uh, small treasure items right there. You get a jewel and two uh, flat tile uh, gold pieces right there. You can see what those look like. Um, so that's pretty cool to get in the set. So it's just a small little model, not really much to it. You can see it right there. So that's basically it for those. So the main model in the set is basically a really cool little underwater rover type of thing, whatever you want to call it, or kind of like a submarine little machine. You can see it can pick up treasure and stuff. It's got a little eye in the front. It's also got a light up here. And it uses a lot of big pieces. It's a nice model to get for a $10 set. It's big. Um, one thing I wish they would have done is made it so they could like slide the crate in or something like that since you kind of have this boxed in design. I thought that would have been cool if you could like slide the box in that you get with the set. That would have been a really cool feature. Um, that's just my opinion though. You can see there's some small propellers on the back. So a nice little feature right there with the propellers. You also do get those R2 pieces. Um, you don't get anything on the bottom of these. I wish they would have maybe put like a t just some two by two flat tiles just to like make it look a little better but not, nothing on those unfortunately then the back is kind of bland looking i don't really like it that much but the rest of the model is okay i guess um just this vehicle i wish it had a couple more features or something on it it's just kind of doesn't really do much except move its arms unfortunately but it's a, i guess it's an okay model um so that's basically it for the main model Alright guys, now moving on to the rating on this set. I'm actually very surprised by what I'm about to say about this set, is that this LEGO City set has better figures than the actual models, which is very rare to happen because most of the time the models are really good and the figures don't really have anything special on them and they kind of stink. But this set is an exception to that. The minifigures are great in the set, great molds, and uh, or not really great molds, but great prints on their torsos and all kinds of stuff like that and you also get a shark in the set which is a ten dollar set with a shark in it that's a really good deal and the small model is not too bad and the big model is kind of bland so like not really too much crazy with the models but like i said the minifigures and the shark definitely make up for that this set's going to get a nine out of ten it's a great deal right here 90 pieces for 10 bucks is not too bad and you also do get a lot of nice stuff it's a great starter set for your underwater adventures in lego city so definitely recommend this set um if you just want to pick up a small set or something like that or if you want to start out your collection from this series i definitely recommend this set so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this review make sure to comment and subscribe